Hello captains and welcome to this X-Plane 10 video. Today we're not going to be doing a flight. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to install the NOAA weather plugin for X-Plane 10. I have received several requests to do this tutorial. It appears that uh, some people are having trouble uh, with the uh, NOAA weather plugin installation. So this is going to be a short video and hopefully uh, by the end of the video you will be able to install uh, the NOAA weather plugin um, with no problems. So let us go ahead and first the first thing you need to, uh, to do is to go to this website. I will include uh, all the websites uh, in the description uh, of the video. So once you go there, uh, there is the NOAA Weather Plugin. The plugin itself is this one here. So you download the zip file. And once you, there you go, that's the one there. Now I've downloaded uh, the file already. And I'll show you that in a minute. And uh, as a prerequisite to install the NOAA Weather Plugin, you need two things. You need the Python uh, x -Plane interface and you also need the script files. So, if you click here on Sandy Python Explain Interface, all right, so right here you will see that there is this Python interface download. If you click that, um, there is one thing. This is the Python scripts that you'll need to download, so go ahead and download this file, and also go to Downloads here and download the Python interface uh, Python uh, 2.7. Okay, so once you download these files, you will have something. Um, let me see here tutorials. So you'll need those three files right there. So this is the actual NOAA Weather plugin. So this is the Python interface, and these are the Python script installer. Now, the first thing you need to do is um, before you install the NOAA Weather plugin, the first thing you need to do is you need to unzip all right, the Python script installer. You double click it and then you point to your explain folder. In my case, it is in the C drive and explain and you just say OK. And then you say next and you install the scripts. What will happen once you do that is you will get a folder in your explain that looks something like this inside resources, plugins, and you will get the Python scripts like that. This file will not be there, which is the NOAA Weather plugin. You'll just have all the scripts there. Okay, so let's head back to where we were. So this is now the script installation is done. The next thing you need to do is you need to install the Python interface. And the way you do this is you extract this, and this will create a folder called Python interface. And this is nothing but the actual um, interface. It's a plugin that goes also in your plugins folder. So what you'll end up with is resources, plugins, and you just place the file here, right there. This is the Python interface. So you just copy the resulting file, or you can, uh, you can if you prefer, uh, zip it directly to resources plugin folder. Now there is one more step uh, remaining that you need to do, which is, all right, let me delete that and delete this so that I don't confuse you. Now the last step is to copy the actual um, NOAA weather plugin and you just copy these two files and you say copy and then you go to your explain folder resources plugins and then you go to the Python scripts and you paste the files here all right so I'm just gonna ignore that and you're pretty much good to go and now we can go back to explain Okay, and we see that in the plugins menu, 
you'll have the XP NOAA weather plugin. You'll have the Python interface, by the way. Uh, that's the control panel. Uh, you don't need to do really anything with that, and I don't recommend that you play with it. Uh, there is the fast uh, plan FMC. That's also part of the uh, scripts that you install. This is the NOAA weather plugin. Uh, you've got this is my famous METAR query that I always use. These are the configurations. Uh, what I have here is enable everything. Uh, and I'm using the METAR source. I'm using the NOAA uh, METAR uh, source. You could use uh, IVAL or VATSIM if you like. Tur turbulence probability is 80%. If you put it at 100, you will always uh, get turbulence, and, and sometimes it's very, very violent. So beware of this setting, and then you can apply and save, and then, and then you have uh, the script updater. Script updater is to check for the, um, basically for the, uh, the latest uh, releases and as you can see everything here is up to date um, XBGS by the way is the ground services uh, which is uh, also provided by the same uh, guy who developed the NOAA weather plugin um, I use uh, ground services deluxe by jar design so I don't need that I don't need to install it uh, but everything there as you can see is up to date okay and this is pretty much it. Uh, this is what I wanted to uh, show you today. This is how you install the NOAA Weather plugin. Uh, very simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zip all three files into one zip file and I will make it available for immediate download through my Dropbox. Folks, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I hope that it's been a useful video. Thank you so very much for watching the video. Until next time. Please take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye for now.